is up guys my name is Jack Gardner and today I have two very very special guests I'm joined by the amazing Ross Campbell Ross is someone that I've looked up to for a long time so mate it's an absolute pleasure to have you here pleasure to be here mate ah oh, cheers man and we also have Nick Huber the maker of these glorious instruments that you are seeing today I believe we've got four with us yeah I we think do. I think we're spoiled it's crazy isn't it man so I think really what we should do is run down each of these. The only unfortunate thing is that we can't jam due to the nature of the setup at the minute, so we'll have to go one at a time. We'll have to sort that out, I think, a bit later, Ross. Yeah. But um, we are running through, essentially, the Tone King Imperial Mark II at the back, just so that we've got a bit of reverb. So the playing feels, I think, a little bit more comfortable for both of us, really, mm. doesn't it, Ross? Um, but I mean, yeah, maybe we should start with this red guitar. All of these guitars, by the way, are it's just glorious, isn't it? Yeah, like, like all play so smoothly. I'll play a bit and then we can talk about mm -hmm. the spec. <laughs> You were saying this is a P90, but with a, just a, I guess, a sort of gold foil pickup look. In the look, gold foil look, uh, pickup look, right? So this is the newest model we just came up with in January uh, when there still was NAM. <laughs> ah <laughs> yes, back in the days. <laughs> yeah, back in the so yeah, um, that's that model is called Pete, and uh, yeah, the bridge pickup we wanted to have another look, look kind of look for the pickup to kind of match this. Ma mastery bridge uh, offset kind of guitar right, approach, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, why don't we hear some of this? This one, mm -hmm. indeed. Covered I mean, beast. The top on this is just. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Like, I've never seen anything like that. No, and the F-holes, I mean, it's not usually something that I'd think to pick up. There is also something that I should point out the back of this. Look at that now. Oh, wow. But yeah, I think we should really just hear how it plays, yeah. you know, first. So I'll start on the neck pickup. <laughs> Bank to it, but it still feels meaty as well, doesn't right. it? You know, yeah. Nick, can you walk us through what's going on? That is my personal guitar. Oh no way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is, um, it's a Riedberg, which the model is called. It's our approach on this kind of three thirty-five kind of size guitar. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, maple top, um, the back and um, the sides are carved from one piece, mahogany. It's right. hollowed out and the, the back is like an art shop, only four millimeters. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, we left the block around the pickups and around the bridge, so the rest of the guitar obviously is hollow, but yeah. we have a solid middle block, which makes the guitar really also functional in uh, on a loud stage. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Maple yeah. neck, Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, and then all the copper, um, details like the finish on the top is pure copper added to the finish, which makes it oxidized wow. and oxidized, and it will change over time. So it will be cool. more and more dull, and uh, the, in the areas where you play, it will be polished. And wow! So the inlays are copper, surrounded by silver, and the logo is copper. So we just, I just wanted to keep that theme going through the whole guitar. Yes. Which is cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but it, it looks <laughs> insane, doesn't it? Does. It? it does. It's indeed. such a pretty guitar. But maybe we should take a look at two of the others. What do you yeah, think, Yeah, we have the, the orcas out. 
I mean, these two, though, the tops on these, I don't know if we can get a close-up shot. Oh, it's just naughty. It looks almost like a tiger's eye. Yeah. Doesn't it? Like yeah. the level of depth that you can see. I don't know whether we'll see that on the camera, but... Show them the here. back of it as well. Like. Yeah, I mean... Wow. Actually, the finish is called Tiger's Eye. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. No way. That is genius. And then on Ross's LP, it's the same kind of thing, isn't it? It's just the level yeah. of detail is... I mean, look at the... It's such a... Um, like, on the sides, the carve is really deep. Yeah, like those, mm. like, old, old 59 LPs. Yeah. Yeah. pickups are in this because I was saying this the other day that they don't sound like typical Les Paul humbuckers that I've played before where the bass is a bit too heavy on the on the neck pickup especially like I don't get that with this guitar. The, the pickups are from Harry Heusley, he's a German pickup maker mm -hmm. and we're working together since 20 plus years, we're close friends and um, so it's his, he calls us 59 and mm -hmm. the only we did change a bit is the neck pickup to make it a little bit fresher sounding yeah. than the, yeah. than the mm -hmm. typical stock um, PAF. And what also adds a little bit of freshness to the guitar is a slightly longer scale than a regular classic. Oh, right. so ah. it's, uh, it's 25 scale that right. adds a yeah. bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on this particular guitar, the body wood is uh, Spanish cedar rather uh, instead of mahogany. Mm -hmm. uh, that also makes the guitar going a little bit away from the typical classic we know right like, yes it, it's, it's a mahogany mahogany looking like wood like Spanish yeah. has been using been used in the guitar making since classical guitar building in Spain. right it's a mm. very mahogany familiar wood but it tends to be lightweight stable strong and very resonant so what what's the weight of that like for us is that <sighs> um three and a half maybe it feels like a Kind of typical Les Paul, I would say. Yeah. Not too heavy, not too light. So maybe we should hear how this one sounds <laughs> yeah, then. So yeah, definitely. Let me just get my volume up. I'm, I'm so not used to four controls instead of two. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty naughty, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely with you playing that man. That's, yeah. that's, that yeah. makes a difference. No, 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 no. It's intimidating playing after you, Ross, honestly. I'm uh, stuck in blues well. <laughs> but man, I mean, yeah, these guitars, all four of the ones which we've got today, there are a couple more here, I believe, aren't yeah. there, Nick? Yeah. I think we brought ten. Ten? Uh, oh, right. that, that was okay. a perfect timing because um, Clemens, who you met yesterday, yes. the day before yesterday, he was on vacation for two weeks and he's in charge of like writing invoice and telling the dealer that your guitar is ready so um, we kind of find a sample, find a sample, claims on the holiday, no invoice was written and we had guitars piling up uh -huh. and so and then I told Clemens when he came from vacation, ah by the way we have an event going on by the end of this week, could you join please? <laughs> <laughs> and we need guitars. <laughs> yes. yeah. But man, I mean yeah. I've been blown away by these all week. I think these yeah. have been the, the guitars that have shocked the pair of us, really. Yeah, they? definitely. definitely. Um, not only the feel and the sound, but the look as well is just another that, That's important as well, isn't it? You want a guitar that you look at and you're like, I've got to pick that up. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's very, it is very true. I mean, Ross, 
we could go on for hours, I'm sure, mate. And Nick, thank you very much for showing us yeah, these thank you very delightful thank you. guitars. I think I will join every video now because I learned so much right now. So oh, I'm the guy the second controller. What do you think, guys? Oh, man, thanks, dude. <laughs> guys, make sure you check out Ross's channel if you haven't already. I'll leave links in the description. Also, check out Nick Huber Guitars. I'll leave a link to the website, Nick. Thank and, you so much. Um, all of your social medias, etc. Guys, thanks again for checking out this video. Until next time, cheers.